Here we have where the microphone begins, the diaphragm. The diaphragm has a front plate and a back plate. You can see the front plate right there. As you can see with our diaphragms and indeed our microphone capsules, aesthetically they're stunning and they look better than anything else out there on the market. Now this translates to the engineering work we've put into them. We make our own front plates, our own back plates and assemble the capsules totally at our factory. All the quality control is done by road engineers and to the highest standards in the world. Now the way a microphone works is that it picks up acoustic air vibrations. This is known as sound. As the air vibrations hit the diaphragm, it converts them into electrical audio signal. This signal then travels down the wires and into the internal microphone circuitry. This is where valves, transistors and other electronic components make up the characteristics of the sound. Polar patterns are vital to understanding the characteristics and also the pickup area of a microphone. A cardioid polar pattern means that the microphone is going to pick up sound predominantly from the front of the microphone. This means we have a lot of rear rejection. This is good for when we want to get a very tight and intimate sound. An omnidirectional polar pattern means that we get sounds from all angles of the microphone, the front, the rear and the sides. This is good for when we want to get a very ambient sound or a very large sound. A trick we can use often is using an omnidirectional polar pattern on a very small instrument. By getting the direct and reflective sounds, it makes the instrument sound bigger than it actually is. A figure eight polar pattern basically describes the polar pattern's pickup in relation to the number eight. It picks up a lot from the front and a lot from the rear of the microphone. A figure eight polar pattern has good side rejection. We can use this for when we want to balance off the front direct sound and the rear ambient sound, but not too much of the ambient sound. By reducing the side reflections, we get a good balance of direct and rear sound. 